everybody and welcome back to Danielle Ability. People always say you should never talk about politics and religion and that has always really bothered me. I think we should be taught to have constructive and civil conversations about those things because they're really important topics and if we never talk about them, how do we know that we're acting correctly and that we have the right way of thinking about things? And how can we truly love others and respect them if we never broaden our scope to include people who are different than we are? That being said, I never really planned on getting political on my YouTube channel, but I do think that there are times in life when we simply can't be silent. It just did not feel right to continue making my normal lighthearted videos without first addressing some of the really heavy stuff that's going on in our world right now. Please bear with me as I talk about some of these things. I'm still learning and trying to understand, but I just really felt like it was important to say some things. And so hopefully I say things right. I know that I don't always know the right words, but I definitely want to at least try. Just please know that my heart in all of this is to show the importance of loving people and being mindful of how we treat others. And to be honest, I don't think that this is really a political topic anymore. It's more of a human rights topic at this point. Being a member of a minority, that is the disability community, I have had moments when I've felt excluded or singled out or overlooked, but I think there's a huge difference between feeling excluded from quote unquote the conversation and feeling in danger for participating in it. Although there have been times in my life when I've felt excluded because of my disability, I've never felt like my life was in danger because of it. And because of that, I can never say that I understand how it feels to go through what the black community is going through right now. But I can empathize with them and advocate for them and I can help them feel seen and heard just as I would hope that able-bodied people would advocate for me even if they can't fully understand my experience or the things that I go through. It's not only absolutely heartbreaking to think of someone being the target of racism, but I can't imagine what it would be like to not only deal with that, but on top of that, the discrimination that you can sometimes feel when you have a disability. And a huge majority of the Black community that is targeted are people who have disabilities. No one should feel judged for anything other than their words and their actions, their character. No one should be judged by the color of their skin, the color of their hair, what their face looks like, what body parts of theirs function or don't function. End of story. I certainly don't have all the answers because I'm still learning and trying to understand through all of this but I do know that I want to love people well. I want to speak out about injustice when I see it, and I want to help in any small way that I can. If we're not here to help and support each other through life, then what's the point? So let's all try to remember to be kind to one another and to reach out to the people around you and try to figure out how you can help ease their struggle. I've always wanted my YouTube channel to be a place where people feel welcome and accepted and seen and that extends to everybody. And you know, no matter who you are, where you come from, anything like that, I just really want to show people that I care. So I hope that you all are finding small ways to do that for the people in your life, no matter how small it is. It can be a tiny little thing, but it's just so important to recognize each other and just 
be there for each other. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.